Okay, welcome guys. So Okay, welcome guys. So now it's time for my review of Dark Souls since so I've played it enough now and I'm moving on to Shadow of Mordor, so I think it's about time to give my actual review. As you can see, I've given it a good go. I've played 185 hours, so this isn't just a, a play it uh, and then say some shit about it. I've actually spent a good deal amount of time playing the game and watching lore things on YouTube and learning about the game. So, onto the game. How we're going to do this review, we're going to talk about the main game, the weapons, the armors, and then we'll go on to the DLC and how that feels uh, with the workings of the actual game. Was it the good DLCs or the bad DLCs? Well, to start with, the game itself. Me, I never played Demon's Souls or Dark Souls 1. I tried to play Dark Souls 1, uh, but there's a, the weird thing with the Microsoft account stopped you actually, me actually being able to go into it because it kept saying I've already registered it with uh, different Steam so I was, I was, it was saying some weird stuff and it just wouldn't let me on so I never got to experience it so I knew a lot about it because you know it was very well mentioned about it being you know, one of the hardest games you know it's, it's one of the hardest games to play you always hear that and like Machinima always say it and everyone else always says it and um, so I felt a bit annoyed that as a gamer I couldn't play it so when Dark Souls 2 come out I was in Australia at the time so I didn't I didn't play it straight off the bat I wait till I got to England so it's about five months later four months later I started actually playing it from the actual release which means the DLCs started to get released as I was ended up playing um, so when I first started the game holy shit when I first started the game I was dying left right and center I mean you can see in uh, this, obviously, this isn't all the areas because this is my third playthrough, but this is most of the areas. And it took me a long time to get through the game. I was dying so much to so many things. Yeah, I, I was. I think I died an average seven, seven to eight times per boss. And I was struggling. It was a hard ass game. So I've not played a game this hard um, for a long time. And it looks amazing yeah initially when you first look at your character yeah you first select your character they look a pile of shit um, in the actual character selection so I thought oh my god the, the graphics this is going to be horrible yeah it's all going to look horrible but it, no it's actually like one of the most gorgeous games that I've seen for a long time everywhere just looks amazing so that's the good thing about it it, it looks really pretty I said it a lot throughout my walkthroughs of the game videos I was like this place looks amazing this place looks beautiful yeah you just see everything like no pun intended because of the sea but just looking at everything you're like it looks amazing that's that's the only thing yeah it just looks really good and it plays really good and the annoying thing or well, good thing but annoying thing is like obviously I'll go on to the levels in a second I was, well I see Speaking of levels, different levels. That's my level, so you know I've actually done a bit in the game. But um, my the actual levels themselves, they're really good because they're extremely different. Yeah, you know, there's a huge variety. As you can see, everything's different, wooded to where we are now, to your know, underground areas, a huge like keep, um, more even weird wooded area, poisoned area, a huge tower of shit inside. And a huge like fire area. Yeah, the levels are really diverse. They're really creative. Yeah, so you don't get bored of the same location because you know you're going to get through it, and you're going to be in an area completely different, full of different enemies. So it's not a copy and paste of the same old enemies and this, uh, throughout the same game uh, each time through. You, you know, each area you've got different things coming at you. You've got extra red summons. That, that come that aren't in the first time through on the second time through on the third time through you might have extra ones that come at you that weren't there originally and that's that's really good because it keeps you guessing because you don't know what's going to come like on the second time through in the Dran Lake castle you go in the throne room two pursuers summon up they weren't there the first time through you know, so you're like holy shit and you need to kill them because you get the ring of blades you get the ring of blaze too. You need you need to kill them. Yeah, I I've done fucking okay, everything I can in this game, um, so you need to get 
you know, searching, and I I end up buying the guidebook for it because there's just so much hidden in the game. There's so many like hidden events that happen that you don't even realise um, that you've got to go back to an area, and that's the thing. I've not played a game where there's so many hidden things, just things hid everywhere, secrets to be found, and it's really damn hard to find them unless you know what you're looking for. Yeah. So, so that's, I mean, this is the, my, th I'm, like I said, I'm on my new, new game plus three. I don't, even, I don't need to fight these guys. I'm just showing you the areas uh, as, as I'm talking. But my guy's pretty, pretty strong. I've played so many different builds. I've played all magic builds, faith builds, um, fire builds. Uh, yeah, I, 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 play, I played a lot just to test all the spells and stuff. Yeah, you know, see this guy hardly does any damage. Yeah, but I do love my general weapon. I've kept this from the very start of the game when I obviously pre-ordered it. I've had this weapon. Nothing else seems to beat it. It's got great, great durability. It's got a hell of a lot of power. It's just it's a be, but it's fucking the tits. Yeah, I for some reason I seem to prefer this all the time. But um, actually, yeah, I, obviously as I'm going through the levels, we'll, we'll go on to the actual gear itself um, because things a lot of things are hidden like I said and and gear is one of them weapons is another thing but you you can't find so many items until your second and third playthrough uh, yeah like the the mad warrior it's like on your second playthrough you're allowed to actually find that yeah things that unlock same with spells which is really good because it keeps you searching you not found everything in your first playthrough it's impossible but it's it means you can constantly change your guy and it doesn't really matter what you're wearing in in all matter of fact it's more aesthetics that you kind of go for because it doesn't make a huge difference in this game armor it, it makes a bare minimum bare minimum difference um, to what you're actually doing but it is a very hard like curb on the game compared to oh here's a red thing I'll 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 do a I'll do a fight whilst I'm chatting but I'm not going to now because I don't want to <laughs> but yeah um the armors the armors are very very good very different there's a huge amount a huge range of them like I was just saying this is just my chest armor I probably got most of them in the game and everything has a full set to it you know if I just have that there's a full set to it you know everything it's not just Random bits and random bobs. Well, the only thing that that is, is like some helms. Some some helmets are completely on their own. Example, crowns, um, and that thing, this thing, that thing. Yeah, <laughs> fucking. Wait, what the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, a lot of things are are set items that have everything within but you just do have your random bits and bulbs that are just the one off kind of things but say they're not just there for aesthetics a lot of them have um, actual benefits to them as you can see at the bottom the effect the effect nothing 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 but, but it's like saying that says nothing but you look at the curse it's like immune to curse you know you gotta you gotta look into things you gotta research into things what's actually gonna benefit you the most um, so yeah, it's pretty good. Obviously, this is just an um, off the uh, off the head review. I'm talking as as I'm as I'm trying to remember things that that have happened that I've that I was playing through the first time. But my first time through it, I started when the first two DLCs come out, um, which will pop onto the first one out here. Yeah, I I started when this one come out, and yeah. You know, I tried to play the whole game before I went on to this DLC because you, know, you want to do the game first before you go on to the DLC. Yes, the game is long. It took me about first time through 60 hours to finish the main main game and um, then probably 10 hours per DLC. But that's mainly because I kept dying a lot and I kept fucking about, you know, I was doing things weird. But this, everywhere has its own like story. But and this is no exception. Like this, the story to hear is yeah, the dragon killed all the people. What is it? Yeah, the dra dragon like the slumbering dragon was like hiding away, sleeping away, and everyone like feared it. 
So they eventually, like one guy, stabbed it with a spear and released its, all its poison from inside it and killed everyone about. You know, hence why everyone looks a bit poisoned and stuff like that. So it's kind of kind of interesting. I don't even have my bow with me. I, I love my bow. Uh, oh, shields. Look at the amount of shields there are. There's a sick amount. Um, but it's really interesting place to explore. If you want a game where there's, where there's a lot of replayability in it, this is 100% the one. Uh, this this game's got challenge after challenge. Uh, yeah. And yeah, sorry, I keep getting distracted because I'm playing. So I should, I'm going to move away from things because I'll just end up focusing on the people. Uh, but let me let me get out of the way. Yeah, so this, this is the kind of game where you will rage. Do not expect to play this game and not get pissed off. The amount of times, if I made a comp complete compilation of me raging at bosses I've died against, you know, that's all, that's all they'll be here, is um, rage. Because, you know, I could make an hour long video of me just going, fuck, ah, you know, losing 200,000 souls, um, losing this, losing that. Because if you don't know how to level up, it's basically you collect souls as I've got bottom right, and you got to use them, spending your... Um, uh, your stats thing here the I can't point to it but the third thing along on the top where it says L level 252 then it goes to the weird thing and then it goes to the arrow up that's basically 300,000 souls I need to level up once and if you have souls yeah, if you, you have souls and you died something all them souls say if I had like 200,000 all them souls will stay where you died and um, you can only get them if you run and collect it but if you die on the way to collecting it all yeah you you lose it all you you end up leaving your soul soul port back when you originally died i shouldn't be using that but fuck it so this is obviously this is the pvp area and this is where you can duel people so that's the interesting thing what's he actually doing okay okay he's chucking shit at me yeah i mean don't be afraid to pvp people Oh my god. I didn't expect that. Yeah, so never be afraid to PvP people. And it is. And it is a very interesting thing to do. Because you can earn things to go through your covenants. You've got to kill people with like the dragon symbols to actually gain dragon scales. And you can put on dragon armor. Uh, which like is a temporary thing. It stays on you till you die. But it's always good to do. Just, just it breaks up the complete rushing and raging of losing to enemies. It's good to die all the time to all the, all the people. But there's some people obviously take this mega serious, and I, I don't take the, I don't take the PvP serious. I mean, I win quite a bit, but not then, not this build anyway. I had a build before where I was winning a lot. Um, I can't remember what it was. I think it was my fire build. Oh, yeah, was it my fire build? No, it's what it is. One random build I had, probably my lightning build, and I was winning quite a lot, but not this. Um, so, yeah, going on to the actual um, story itself, the story is pretty cool because you you don't know what's going on. Yeah, you don't know actually why you're doing everything, you're, you're just being told to go places, and, and you, you just go there. My god, this guy needs to eat dick. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, see, you don't even know why you're going through, through the areas. You don't even know why you're trying to become take over the throne. You don't know what's going on, but you just do it because, obviously, that's what you've been told to do by the mysterious figure where you level up. So it's, it's just... Same as the old, you're, you're basically a hollow that doesn't want to become fully hollow, like you're the dead. And you're trying to, I don't know if you're trying to get your soul back or, or get your humanity back. But that's basically all you're doing is getting to this throne, dethroning the huge uh, queen and, and moving on to the actual, the crown of the old kings. Because you talk to, you talk to the old, why is he red? Alright, oh, it's because it's not a dragon thing. Yeah, me bow. Yeah, because you talk to the old King Vendrick and he sends you on the quest to get all the crowns, uh, the three crowns. 
And you do that. There we go. All right. Yeah, see, basically, go get your three cow. I can't finish the last one because I'm on, I'm on, I'm on my third playthrough, and it's just too hard. He's trying to get me to fucking pull in the other dudes. Oh shit! What's he doing? Oh my god, this guy needs to fuck off. It, what a bell end. Yeah. Ugh. He's just how many shots he got? He's got a lot of shots. Okay. He's been a villain. You know what I mean? That's why I can't be asked. Oh, come on. Yeah, see the club, the club sort of gets the the beats in. Come on, fuck, oh, fucking hell. What a dick. Oh, fuck off, I thought. Oh, what a dick, yeah. Alright, I thought I was going to have that. I honestly thought I was going to get that, but all right, moving on anyway. So the weapons I find annoying, very annoying, because I didn't want to stick with the same weapons the whole game through. I really, yeah, I really didn't want to stick with the same weapon. I wanted to use swords. I, I'm always the swords guy, but for some reason, there seems to be a massive problem with the durability. Um, the everything seems to break super quick, like katanas. Katanas have like 20 durability. Yeah, and that pisses me off because it. Where are they? Like, there's so many weapons in this game. You know what I mean? Like, that's like fucking. Like, obviously, I've got multiple. I keep selling everything, but. Uh, yeah, so where are they? Katanas, Katanas, Katanas. Yeah, look at them. They're cooking. So they got, like, they, they're alright. I mean, that's got 20, 40, 40, 40, 40, 20, 20, 20. Yeah, and that's annoying because katanas, in the days, yeah, they had they're like multi-layered, epic weapons. They don't break after a few hits, and and it's very frustrating because it stops you using things. So if you get it, you level, you chuck all your mats on it, leveling it all up, and and it just becomes shit because it breaks so quick. You can only use it, and obviously you can repair it, but it's shouldn't just be breaking so quick you can't even finish an area yeah you can't fit physically finish an area without stuff breaking i mean my club lasts forever like this this thing lasts so damn long and it's perfectly fine let me just warm up <laughs> there we go Ugh. Ugh. i asked for that yeah and that's been my only problem. The rings, there's a, a great amount of rings. Um, so you don't need to worry. Ooh. Oh, very good, very good, very good. That was very close. I, could, I should have had uh, I should have had that. I, I failed miserably at the start. But I did get him down a bit, so that wasn't too bad. Um but I don't know. In all, all in all honesty, I'm gonna I'm gonna move on to the actual DLCs. I'm gonna because I keep getting hugely distracted wherever I am, uh, and I'm very, very like here and there review because I'm just I'm just chatting how I've thought about everything and what I what I just generally just generally feel about things. And all in all, this game is so worth playing. Like I've seen that's the first DLC. This is the second DLC. This is the nice DLC. I don't really like the first DLC area. Um I'll show you a bit more of it in a second, but you know, saying it's my third playthrough, so I'm not actually bothered with the, that DLC or this DLC because I went straight onto the third one that came out. But this one this one is really good. Yeah, it's it's a huge area. Come on. Oh, I'm just drinking away. Yeah, this place 
is a really good DLC because it is huge. The first one's big, um, but I don't really like it. But this one is so cool. You got the again this, the the uh, smelter demon hidden away in it. Yeah, you got a lot of a lot of hidden areas that are actually just generally pretty good. Can I? I cannot drop down there. Can I? I can actually. Yeah. Oh no no! Usually I just jump across. Because if you don't want to fight them down there, you can just run and jump. Where is it there? Yeah. Oh, not like that. There you go. Right, so you just generally skip bits if you if you want. Cause you just go down the tower, but you can't drop further down the, the, than you're supposed to. Even with the cat ring, even if you had the ultimate health and the cat ring. I don't think you can drop down there anyway. I think it's just too far down. Oh, actually, let me get further down. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to... Oh, fuck. Hey, he's new. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, right. I actually hit him. I think I can get down there with the cat. I'm just going to try. I'm going to... Oh, fuck off. You know what I mean? I'm trying to, trying to experiment here, and this guy's trying to ruin my fun. There we go. I mean, because I know I'm, I'm probably not going to come back to Dark Souls 2 for a while, because, yeah, you can I can only play things a certain amount. Well, not a certain amount. I can play things for a long ass time, but I tend to need to move on to other things, other other games that come out, because yeah, I don't want to miss out. Um, and that's the thing, I could easily play this game over and over and over uh, and get really far through, you know, because you don't have to do the DLCs to actually move on. I'm trying to see the the the, the, the uh, things that make me fall, oh shit, the things that make me fall less damage when I fall. There we go. Let's see if I can survive this drop. Nah. <laughs> Is that the highest? Oh, I could have landed on there, maybe. I wonder if that would have made a difference. I doubt it. Well, that's out of curiosity. I just wanted to see if I can make that. But I think you purposely die. Otherwise, you skip everything. <laughs> and that's cool. Because that would just increase the speed of actually completing it. But, nah. The game, the game is very much worth getting with all the DLCs because the DLCs unlock a lot of good rings, a lot of good items and a lot of really good experiences you know, because I'll start, I'll go down this chain and when you first see it, it just looks unbelievable you know, the view, the view is all shoddy not shoddy, just out of focus but it's when I turn around you're like, wow, that's amazing so you like that? That's that's all you see. That's all you see, and that is your that is your area. And it's like what the fuck? Well, so that's pretty cool. So we'll, I'll I'll show you the third DLC area. And the only bad things I got to say about the game is what can I? Th it like saying the weapon durability, and I don't like what? Yeah. What, I don't know. There's not. There's not much I don't like about this game. It's pretty damn good all round. You know, there's everything you need. With there's a lot of hidden hidden areas, secret doors, secret items, a lot of lore behind things. Not a lot of lore, but there's enough lore. Things to always. Uh, you know, you can't ever have a huge collection of souls because you need them to level up, and then it becomes very hard to level up because you need so many. And chances are, by the time you've collected nearly nearly enough, and you'll you'll lose them. So <laughs> it makes life hard, but it stops you becoming too overpowered. I mean, it's it's very easy now. Um, if I wanted to to skip straight to number four, because I think yeah, after here it's just the undead crypt, which is I can't even remember where I'm going for it. Oh, I think I literally just got here to get the spells. Yeah, yeah. I literally just got here to get the spells, and then then uh, buggered off back to the third DLC. But that's it. I was showing you the third DLC area. 
Because this one's really pretty. This one's really nice. See, he's got a cool, cool looking gear. I just mean, you, I like, that's what I like as well, the interactiveness about everything. You, you always see people, always see the spirits. You can help each other out. You can be summoned to other worlds. You can invade other worlds. I'm going to get rid of this shitty cat ring. Why is that? Oh, right, it's not a cat ring. It's my legs, leggings. Yeah. This, when you first start, there's a huge, this is all frosted over, but because I've gotten to where I've got gotten to, all the ice has defrosted, so now I can go pick up a lot of chests that I couldn't before which would which would be handy yeah it's because yeah there's bound to be a lot of shit that I've missed yeah so these guys they're all ice so if you had a fire build here you'll, you'll do amazing you'll just mince for everything oh wait I didn't even see yeah they're, they're, it's not super challenging like the bosses are. Hell, I can't even beat the third boss. I mean, the, the last boss. Fuck off. He seems to be impossible. Because of everything that goes on. You need two people with you because there's just so much shit that goes on. But they keep dying. And it's really frustrating. So this is such a hard... This is such a hard addition. Because I, I, mean, I can't even beat him to see this, this, what goes on. But this... Makes life easy. The crit, the crits, and everyone makes life easy. Yeah, you don't even need, you don't even need to care about half the people. You just, you just mince through them. But first time you, you do play everything, you die to everyone because you're not used to it. You're not used to how to catch people out. You're, just, you're just generally not used to how things work and move. These things, I don't even know why they're here. They're just here. I mean, but even if your items do get low, you, you have a spell. Or you got repair dust to, to chuck on shit in and repair it. What's he staring at? Hmm, interesting. I'm just generally searching for um, the, the chest. I know there's a big chest rooms. So here's dogs. You see, you, you want to be bringing... You want, you, want, you want to always have a bow. That's my advice. You always want to have a bow um, to just shoot things. Because there's a lot of things you can just pick off from the distance. You, you wouldn't even need to bother with um, coming at you. Because, you know, things you can pick off with a bow could be very strong. They couldn't be asked to deal with if they actually got near you. Because, you know, some things do wreck you. Especially if you're not heavily armoured. You're you are easily going to be fucked up by a lot of things. Um, but, like I say, another beautiful area. Look at it. Everything's gorgeous, and you head up to there. Yeah, you head everywhere. It's not like you just see it. You, you head, you physically head to it. Look, you got your your road there. You head to it. So it's not just there for aesthetics. You 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 go everywhere. So which is amazing. But all in all, my my review for this game, just so you don't go over thirty minutes, is it's such a great experience. So so good. Very hard, but really damn good. Very interesting and really oh what the fuck where did he come from that was beyond cheeky yeah okay so now every literally everything's unlocked so you might there'll be probably a hidden wall i have found one hidden wall in this dlc yeah but anyway guys that's my talk of everything it's very very random it's just been a general chit chat um how how things have been going and well worth well worth the play, well worth the time, well worth a couple playthroughs because that's when you unlock everything. Definitely worth finishing a second playthrough to get just get the most out of the game and definitely get the DLC because it just brings a whole new world to the game. Like it just makes it stop being so short because you can easily just get to new game plus over and over and over without even that much of an effort. Right? Well, that's it guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, I'm going to die, I'm going to run away, and I'll see you all later, bye bye.